Dallas Weekly. We are 100 Yards of Football, Sports Talk Radio, and the Dallas Weekly is presenting a great video this week on the Dallas Cowboys. And joining me is the man himself, Mr. Football, Vincent Turner. How's it going, Vincent? How you doing, Jeremiah? What about them Cowboys? Ooh, what about them Cowboys? So I am the producer. I come in. I we work, we do these videos each week. We're brought to you by the Dallas Weekly, which is the amazing um, black-owned newspaper that comes to you each week from Dallas, Fort Worth area. And we're so privileged to be doing these videos. So tell me, Vincent, what is Dallas's receiving group looking like this year? And are they really going to be something to, to you know to really contend with? Well, Jeremiah, you know the Cowboys history is all about winning championships. Let me start there first and foremost. That's what Cowboy Nation is about. Nothing else, no playoffs. Can we get to the Super Bowl? With that being said, this Cowboys receiving group, who I'm talking about, Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup, and C.D. Lamb, I think has the potential of being the best in Cowboys history. When you look at all the great receivers that's played with the Dallas Cowboys, I'm talking about Alvin Harper, Michael Irvin, Bob Hayes, Lance Allworth, Dez Brandt, Terrence Williams, Tony Hill, Drew Pearson. I think these three young men can be better than any of those young men I just mentioned. And if you was listening, you noticed that I put some guys in this one Super Bowl rings. That's how confident I am in this group that's coming up in 2020. Um, I'm going to start with Amari Cooper. I think he's the best route running guy in the league right now. I'm going to start with Michael Gallup. I think he's very versatile. He can play on the outside. He can play on the inside. And C.D. Lamb is probably the best slot guy right now in the National Football League without playing a down. And when you look at this group, there's so much potential with this group because you got a quarterback in Dak Prescott that's coming back off a 4,000-yard season from last year. But when you look at the great groups, there's no weakness with this group right here. And I think C.D. Lamb is the main guy that can make this, this group great. When you talk about the great receiving groups in the National Football League, and when I think about the great receiving groups, I'm thinking about Randy Moss, Chris Carter, Jake Reed from Minnesota, the Miami receiving core of the 80s, Mark Duper, Mark Clayton, Nat Moore. Then you look at um, the Washington Redskins in the 80s, Gary Clark, Art Monk. Ricky Sanders, Oakland back in the 70s with Cliff Branch, uh, my man Fred Blifikoff from Florida State University, and then, of course, Pittsburgh with the great Lynn Swan and John Starworth. Get back to the Cowboys group. We know what Amari Cooper can do when he's healthy. We know what Michael Gallup can do when he's healthy. But I think C.D. Lamb is the big factor here to really put this group in the class of the groups I just mentioned from history in past with the Cowboys and other great receiver groups. C.D. Lamb. Hasn't played a down yet. But think about this. He's going to be the third receiver in this group that's going to play in the slot. I don't know too many teams in the National Football League that got really good third slot corners in this league. That being said, I'm going to bring up two key points why I think this group is going to be great and probably the best in the league this season. C.D. Lamb, in his career, had 24 receptions over 40 yards. 24 over 40 yards. So it don't take a rocket scientist to figure out that this guy is getting deep on secondaries and he's breaking tackles. The most important of the stat, he averaged 20 yards a catch in his career. And he had 32 touchdowns. And he's a guy that's been very, very well in training camp so far for the Dallas Cowboys this season. Some people babies, are saying he's the best player so far on the offensive side of the ball this year. So that being said, yes, I think this receiving group is going to be the best in the National Football League this season. And I think when it's all said and done, we're going to mention them in the breath of some of the great receiving groups that's had great one-year seasons. That's the St. Louis Rams that had the greatest show in turf with Asic Bruce, excuse me, from the 901, my hometown, Memphis, Tennessee, by the way, the University of Memphis, Troy Hope, North Carolina State, Ricky Pro. As I mentioned before, the great Miami Dolphins receiving groups are the 80s that played under the great Dan Marino, Mark Duper, Mark Clayton, and Nat Moore. Yes, I think this Cowboys receiving group can be as good as them for one season. And if I'm going to put my money on it, looking at all the groups in the National Football League right now, I would consider them the best without even playing it down in 2020. Whew. Well, that's freaking amazing. Like that, there's a lot to take in too, because 
there's so many unknowns, but at the same time that there's a lot of unknowns, there are some things that we know are tried and true. They're definitely going to happen this coming season with that. So tell me, what are the key takeaways and what are the, what are their, what are their biggest obstacles to really showing out the way that you're, you're talking about this year? There's only one key injuries. Mm. Injuries are the only thing that can stop this group from being great this season. Yeah. And there's no takeaways. It don't take no rocket scientists. Remember, Going back to the 2020 draft, and we're looking at the receiver position, we had the deepest group, they said, in the last 20 years at the receiver position. They were talking about Jerry Judy. They mentioned the young yep. man, Jefferson, out of LSU, Jerry yep. Judy out of Alabama. Mm -hmm. But there was a lot of people who said, out of all the receivers in this year's draft, C.D. Lamb was the best receiver coming into this year's draft. And I'm going to say one more time, in his career, 24 receptions over 40 yards. Ooh. Think about that, Jeremiah, and let that sink in. You have receivers that play four years in college, and they might not even have but one or two receptions over 40 yards. Right. And this guy at the University of Oklahoma, Bo yep. Masuna, had 24 receptions over 40 yards in his career. I agree. Yeah, and C.D. Lamb is someone that we have uh, spoke about uh, on the show before, um, a prospect that we've watched move through the college system on it, up play with the Cowboys, and yeah, I can't wait to see what he does. Well, uh, Vincent, what's your final word for the Dallas receiving group? My final words, I've been found in the Cowboys organization since 1966, and as I mentioned before, they've had some great receiving groups that came through Dallas history, Bob Hayes, Lance Allworth. Drew Pearson, Tony Hill, Michael Irvin, Albert Harper, but this group right here, and then let me throw in Daz Bryan and, Ted, and Terrence Williams, but this group here has a chance to be very special. Think about this while I wrap this up. Amari Cooper and Michael Gallup went over 1,000 yards last year. Dak Prescott threw over for 4,000 yards. And you bring a guy here, C.D. Lamb, 20 yards that he averaged per reception in college, 24 receptions over 40 yards, 32 touchdowns, and he's going to be the third guy in the slot. Man, and then added on top of that, Ezekiel Elliott, who I still think is the best running back in the pro football, this Cowboys offense might be the best they've had ever in club history. And we all know it's been some great football players in the Dallas Cowboys history. This uh, offense coming into 2020, hands down, offensive line, running back position, quarterback position, and you got a coach in Mike McCartney who's won a Super Bowl, who's had some right. very prolific offenses, that's coach Brent Farr and Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, Greg Jennings, and Jody Nelson. Yeah. I think I'd be very happy if I'm a Cowboys fan this year. <laughs> it's going to be something special in Dallas. Uh, There's going to be something special in Dallas, that is for sure. Well, for everybody watching here at the Dallas Weekly, I am the producer, Jeremiah Long, digital producer here uh, for our sports programming. And you've been watching our breakdown of the Dallas Cowboys receiving group with the man himself, the football encyclopedia, a man who knows more about football statistics than I know about broadcasting, which is a lot to say. And, <laughs> and himself, though, Vincent Turner. And thank you guys so much for watching. We love bringing you these weekly football videos here with the Dallas Weekly in accordance with uh, 100 Yards of Football Sports Talk Radio. Be sure to subscribe to the Dallas Weekly. Go to our YouTube, to our Facebook, and even check us out on Twitch and into our Facebook groups. And if there's anything that you'd like to know about Dallas football, whether it's Dallas Cowboys, high school football, and any of the other teams that are all over Texas, let us know in the comments. And so for the whole team here at the Dallas Weekly and 100 Yards of Football, I'm Jeremiah, brought to you with uh, Vincent Turner, and we'll see you a little later this week. See you guys. How about that?